Hello everyone. So finally, we are ending this chapter, chapter number one, that is geography as a discipline. We have completed this chapter in two separate video lectures. All the lectures are available in in the YouTube channel, as well as the links I have posted regularly in your WhatsApp, as well as in your Google Classroom. I hope you have completed the homework. Very small questions I have given to you. That what is your idea or what is your viewpoint about the questions? So, with this discussion, I hope that uh, at least you have a clear-cut idea that what geography used to deal when geography becomes a independent subject. When geography becomes a independent, when geography becomes an independent subject. So. from integrated towards independence the journey we have understood that how geography evolved how the subject matter evolved and not only this i have repeatedly uh, you know told you that in part 1 and part 2 video that geography is not merely a theoretical subject whatever theory we will study it has a direct practical application so in part 1 what we have understood please uh, we can recap uh, recapitulate once again that what are the things we have understood in part 1 that what is geography what are the different branches of geography we have understood and how geography is important secondly what is geography and who is known as the father of geography we have understood next what are the questions that a geographer used to raise always to solve the problem that what where and why w h a t what w h e r e where and w h y why okay so what means particularly location so to be a good geography student locational analysis plays a very important role second where okay whenever we used to say where location and in what for example to identify some specific feature for example if i say that what is this feature is this a mountain or is this a plateau or is this a plain so i am raising question second where where is the mountain where is the plateau where is the plain this kind of location based we will study and third is the why w h y why this mountain originated here what are the reasons behind it and what will be in future so like this way we have to take all these principles and laws whenever we will study geography today my main uh, intention was to give you the uh, ncert textual questions uh, solutions i will discuss with you and one or two extra questions that usually comes in the examinations okay so uh, what are the specializations in geography the main branches particularly geography having two important branch we all know one is the physical and another is the human physical geography studies the natural features whereas human geography studies the cultural and man made features physical geography has many branches geomorphology that is the study of the landforms climatology study of the climate hydrology study of the uh, water and water cycle different forms of water and soil geography that is pedology and next is the human geography and its branches that are cultural geography different types of culture in a region second is the social geography how society evolve how people are interacting next is economic geography what are the economic relations taking place okay what are the different parameters in economics along with geography we will study next is population geography how migration is going on how population uh, is increasing fertility rate mortality rate these things we will study in population geography and lastly the political geography or geopolitics that why this region is uh, having politically very much powerful we all know the two important powers uh, capitalism and communism how this power evolved and how it holds power in the entire world okay what are the interaction and the diplomatic relations 
these things we will study in political geography. So, this is the outline that what we have already studied in part 1 and part 2 lecture of geography as a discipline. So, let us discuss about the NCRT textual questions. I will suggest you to please take out your book that is fundamental of physical geography and mark the objective answers in your book. Those who do not have book right now, they can simply write the question number and the option in your separate note copy. First question you all know that is which one of the following scholar coined the term geography? Options are Herodotus, Herodotus Galileo and Aristotle. We know the answer already that is Eratosthenes. Eratosthenes is also known as the father of geography. Okay. Next question is that which one of the following features can be termed as physical features? Okay. Which one of the following features can be termed as physical features? Physical features means what? Naturally made. Okay. Naturally made. So, the options are port, road, plane, water park. We know the option, we know the answer that is plane. Option C. Next question is that mark correct pairs from the following two columns and mark the correct option. That means match the following. So, we have specific options in your uh, left hand side that is meteorology, demography, sociology and pedology. Meteorology means what? Scientific study of weather and climate. Demography means what? Scientific study of population. Sociology means what? Scientific study of society and developments and its interaction. And pedology means what? Scientific study of soil. So, along with this branch, the branches of geography can be matched. So, meteorology, meteorology can be matched with climatology. Demography can be matched with population geography. Sociology can be matched with soil geography and pedology can be matched with uh, sorry uh, pedology can be matched with soil geography okay uh, pedology can be matched with soil geography so there is a little mistake is there so one answer is c okay one answer will be c climatology two answer will be a population geography three answer will be d sociology will be marked with social geography and four answer will be marked with B that is pedology will be marked with soil geography. Okay. Next is which of the following uh, questions is related to cause effect relationship. Okay. Which of the following question is related to cause effect relationship. Whenever we used to say cause and effect. So, always we will raise the question why. Okay we always raise the question why. So, uh, like this way cause and effect relationship can be studied. Next question we having which one of the following discipline attempts temporal synthesis. Temporal means what time. So, which specific subject used to deal with time? Okay, the answer is history. History particularly you will say BC you have studied na? before Christ, AD that means after death or Anno Domini, okay. BCE before Common Era, okay. these terms are there in history. So, history usually prefers timeline concept, timeline concept. Okay. Next part we are moving is the very short answer question. First question is that what important cultural features do you observe while going to school? Are they similar or dissimilar? Are they similar or dissimilar? Should they be included in the study of geography or not? If yes, then why? Okay. So, the question you have to understand that what important cultural features do you observe while going to school? So, what are the cultural features? or the man-made features such as school, college, buildings, car, roads, 
hospitals etc okay next question are are they similar or dissimilar see all these cultural features are dissimilar because they having a purpose for example school having a separate purpose hospital having a different purpose roads having a different purpose okay like this way all the cultural features having different purpose and this purposes are based on technology okay the technology induced all this cultural feature for example uh, a specific technology used to make the buildings for example when you enter a class you will see smart board you will see you know lab high tech labs you will see sound system mic system uh, projector and all but if you go to hospital you will see the room has been decorated in a different way beds are there saline bottles are there medicines are there okay so technology making them different should they be included in the study of geography yes they should be included in the study of geography because they are included in the environment whatever we are doing whatever we are making in this living space this all things interact with the environment this all things have a cyclic process okay so human and nature is in this process hence we have to include all these things in geography next important question you can see that you have a seen a tennis ball a cricket ball an orange and a pumpkin which one amongst this resembles a shape of earth why have you chosen this particular items to describe the shape of earth particularly a tennis ball a cricket ball usually a circular in shape a pumpkin you have seen it is not at all a circular in shape okay it is tapered from the top okay and it is bulged from the sides but an orange resembles the shape of the earth okay so that's why usually orange can be chosen as a say shape of the earth another thing you always remember that the shape of the earth is not circle it is not a sphere it is not a cylindrical whatever it is earth uh, that shape of the earth is known as geoid g e o i d geoid okay this term we will analyze in practical geography how to find the shape of the earth okay so whenever if someone ask you that what is the shape of the earth you always say that it resembles the shape of orange and scientifically it is known as geoid g e o i d geoid okay i hope it is clear next question is do you celebrate one mahotsav in your school why do we plant so many trees how do the trees maintain ecological balance this is a very uh, uh, good question you have already uh, uh, know this concept in class 10 we celebrate ban mahotsav in school okay we plant so many trees as we are promoting afforestation in our country we all know the situation that due to development as population is rising as development is growing on we need place that's why we are cutting forest we are rampantly destroying forest hence to stop this issue we should encourage afforestation okay in our country so these are necessary to maintain the ecological balance as forest plays a very important role in environment it conserve all the potential energy of environment okay next question is you have seen elephants deers after that uh, earthworms trees and grasses where do they live or grow what is the name given to this spear can you describe some important feature of this spear this is a question okay so when where living beings used to grow like elephant deer earthworm grasses trees as well as humans it is in the environment okay and this spear is known as biosphere okay this spear is known as biosphere b i o s p h e r e bio means what bio means living bio means what bio means living so biology means what study of the living organism 
okay biology means what study of the living organism the main feature of the sphere is that is the interacting sphere of the earth so it is a interaction you have uh, learned a topic in evs that is 10% exchange of energy okay in environment for example from producer to uh, uh, consumer this 10% from herbi uh, herbivores carvi carnivores is there decomposers are there so like this way the energy that the producer that the green plants used to trap in them is 100% whenever the producer uh, that the grasses will be eaten by a cow that 100% energy will be transferred to the cow in form of 90% okay when a tiger will eat that cow it will be transferred to 80% so like this way transfer of energy we used to see so it is a very much interactive process my question is to you that humans falls in which sector okay herbivore carnivore omnivore in which sector you can mention your answer in the google classroom okay next question is that how much time do you take to reach your school from your house had the school been located across the road from your house how much time would you have taken to reach school what is the effect of the distance between your residence and the school on the time taken in commuting can you convert time into space and vice versa this is a very interesting question in geography the concept of location and time plays a very important role for example this is a straight line suppose my finger is the straight line okay and it resembles 0 degree and it resembles 0 degree okay this side is the uh, western side okay and this side is the eastern side and this finger is my prime meridian so whenever you used to go from 0 to this side how the time changes time plus minus this is a concept of time zone i hope you have studied little bit about time zone but in 11 we have a very generalized concept of time zone we will understood how time plays a very important role for example now i am recording the video it is the time is today the date is 27th may and the time is approximately 10:30 sorry 10:40 10:40 am so but what will be the time in america now what will be the time in japan all the times are different how the times are different what are the reasons okay these things we will study so what will be the answer of this question the time taken to reach the school is approximately 30 minutes if the school was located across the road from my house it will take 5 minutes to reach the school hence we are comparing traveling distance while the distance between the school and home is more the time taken is more and vice versa okay using scientific formulas time can be used to calculate the distance between two places so if you have given time suppose the time of america is this and the time of india is this the date is suppose this hypothesis okay hypothetically the date is 27 the time in india is 10:40 am and in america it is approximately 5:30 am what will be the distance you can easily calculate the distance okay these things we will learn in geography next uh, important question uh, one of the important question is this you observe every day in your surrounding that there is a variation in natural as well as cultural phenomena all the trees are not of same variety all the birds and animals you see are different all these different elements are found on the earth can you now argue that geography is the study of aerial differentiation so what is aerial differentiation i hope you know the concept all the areas in the living space are different and unique okay you cannot compare and contrast based on same factor two different areas you cannot okay if i can compare it is very difficult to compare 
শিলিগুড়ি অ্যান্ড কলকাতা বিকজ দেয়ার এরিয়া দেয়ার জিওগ্রাফি ইজ ডিফারেন্ট দেয়ার পপুলেশন ডিফারেন্ট ওকে সো হোয়াট উইল বি দ্য অ্যান্সার জিওগ্রাফি স্টাডিজ দি আর্থ অ্যাজ এ হোম অফ ম্যান জিওগ্রাফি স্টাডিজ দি আর্থ আফটার গেটিং ডিটেলস ফ্রম বোথ দি সোশ্যাল অ্যান্ড ন্যাচারাল সায়েন্স সো জিওগ্রাফি ইউজ টু টেক বোথ দি সোশ্যাল অ্যান্ড দি ন্যাচারাল সায়েন্স কনসেপ্ট অ্যান্ড প্রিন্সিপালস জিওগ্রাফি ইজ কনসার্ন উইথ কোর অর প্লেস অফ অ্যান এরিয়া ইট অ্যানালাইসিস ইট অ্যানালাইসিস দি স্পেশিয়াল ক্যারেক্টারিস্টিক্স ইট স্টাডিজ দ্য ডিস্ট্রিবিউশন অফ লোকেশন সেন্ট্রালাইজেশন অ্যান্ড দেয়ার প্যাটার্ন ইন অ্যান এরিয়া দাস জিওগ্রাফি ইজ দি ইজ ইজ দাস দি স্টাডি অফ ডিফারেন্স অফ প্লেসেস সো উই ইস টু টেক ইন টু কনসিডারেশন দি লোকেশনাল ফ্যাক্টার্স দি সেন্ট্রালাইজেশনাল ফ্যাক্টার্স হাউ দি প্যাটার্নস ইভলভ these things will to study in geography hence geography can be considered as the science of aerial differentiation aerial differentiation many differences are found in physical as well as cultural environment on the earth therefore it is justified to state that geography as a study of aerial differentiation geography studies all those aspect which differ from place to place geography studies the cause and effect of these differences it studies the cause of this difference according to richard hartshorn geography aims at the description and analysis of the aerial differentiation of the earth so geography not only consider the aerial differentiation but it also describes why the differentiation is there how the differentiation is there okay and what will be the future impact according to alfred hetner geography studies the aerial differences in different aspect on the earth on the basis of cause and effect so cause and effect aerial differentiation time and location these are the important parameters of geography see one thing is very much clear to you that we are not utilizing our knowledge to understand the theory but we have to understand the practical perspective also travel broad broadens the mind in geography this statement is very true whenever you will travel you will understand the problem the local issues in a very varied way in a very different way you will understand the different issues of society in geography the aerial differentiation has developed along with the concept of region we have understood two different concept one is the systematic approach and another is the uh, regional approach we know these two important approaches are there okay According to Vidal de la Blech, the exact picture of a region is formed with the cooperation of social and aerial differentiation. Okay? Society is also changing. When time changes, society also changes. Okay? Our culture changes. Therefore, geography studies each factor separately and then makes an integrated study of all these factors. Okay? And lastly, geography studies the aerial differentiation according to Hartshorn uh, uh, is to consider all the facts and all the factors that geography plays a very important role. Thus, geography is a study of interrelationship of subject, place and man. So, it is a particularly consider the interrelationship. What is the relationship with man? environment society in this changing space and changing time that's all about geography so with this discussion i hope it is clear to you that how the subject matter of the geography evolved lastly we have already studied geography history civics economics as a part of social studies attempt an integration of this discipline highlighting their interface that means what the subject of geography history economics are interrelated integrated till class 10 we have studied geography as a integrated science integrated social science the geography of a place affects its history and economic structure the political situation is a result of geography and historical condition hence the the discipline of geography of social studies are integrated whether if you want to be a very good geographer you should have a very good command 
in history, civics, and economics, as well as sociology. Okay, because you have to interpret all these factors in the final interpretation. You have to know what history used to tell, what civics used to tell, what geography used to tell. Hence, to be a geographer, whenever you are studying geography, you are studying all the social sciences. Okay, indirectly we are studying all the social sciences. In your higher classes, we will consider computer. We will consider statistics. These things also we will consider. Hence, geography is a complete social social science. Okay, these are the NCERT NCERT questions. Uh, I hope you have uh, say uh, marked. I will give the question answers in the Google Classroom. You can download it or you can write it in the separate note copy. Finally, some important questions that name two German geographers of 18th century. One is the Humboldt and the Ritter. Name two main divisions of geography: physical and human. Name two subdivisions of physical geography: that is geomorphology and climatology. Okay, and this is the uh, basic concept that we have come to know. So these are all the uh, NCERT questions that we have discussed. I hope it is clear. In the next class, we will discuss a new topic. I will post an assignment in Google Classroom. So please have a look. in the assignment section and try to uh, attend the quiz it is only 10 to 15 questions i will give you in your free time you can easily attend the quiz i hope you have liked the lecture and with this note we have completed the chapter 1 geography as a discipline the next chapter there will be lot of diagrams and interesting things okay because the first chapter it is a theoretical in concept i cannot use a lot of diagrams and uh, a lot of things but from the next chapter animations are coming okay you have seen himalaya but in the next class i will show you how himalaya is formed through animation through graphics i will refer satellite images isro satellite images you will understand the chapter in a vivid way thank you everyone thank you for your time and cooperation we will meet in the next class with a new topic till then goodbye take care